Hey everyone, sorry I only made one video and then never made anything else for like two months. I've just been really busy and I got more busy than I expected and I was hoping to make more videos in between this time. Um, and I tried to but it didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I'm happy to be back and have more free time to hopefully make more videos to put up. Today I'm going to be talking about the second time I was in Korea in 2016 and the first time I went to a Korean bathhouse and stayed overnight. Some background on the story is that I was staying with the homestay family through my program called Langi Bridge and my homestay family or host family was also hosting other kids but they were not going to my program um, Langi Bridge they were going to Lexus Korea which teaches Korean to foreigners and English to Koreans and I was going through Langi Bridge to Hanyang University um, so we did like a Hanyang University, like they gave us a booklet and we went for three weeks in a three week program at Hanyang University. Living with my host family, there was N, um, who was 17 at the time I think, and she was from somewhere in Europe. And then there was M from Canada, and he is about 32, I think, if I remember correctly he was 32. And also F. Um, he was from Italy, but he was Chinese, like full Chinese, but he was born and raised in Italy. Not really much happened with F. He was just kind of like really awkward and shy, so never really talked to him. Like the only time like we ever talked to each other is if we were eating with everyone. And then one time he was going to take a shower, and in Korea you have to turn on like the hot water before you take a shower. And so I was eating breakfast really quietly. And all of a sudden, he comes around the corner shirtless and is, like, really, like, embarrassed. So he, like, covers up. And I was like, this is nothing. Like, it's just, like, his chest. But he was, like, all, like, flustered. And I thought it was really funny. Because I kind of knew that was happening because I was, like, eating quietly. So I was kind of, like, waiting for it to happen. The night starts with Anna inviting me to go to the Jim Jobong or bathhouse with her boyfriend, Jay. And they had met at Lexus Korea because they do a lot of exchanges between Koreans and foreigners in Lexus Korea. And they hadn't told each other their ages before they had started dating. So she was 17 and he was 28. Which is like a little weird because um, they both thought they were like older or like younger. But like I feel like in Korea like that's the first thing you ask is age. So it's kind of weird they didn't know their age. And also I've met him before this night. We had a at Solbing, which is like shaved ice, like Korean shaved ice. It was so good. That was the night I had Solbing like twice in like two hours because I went with some other girls staying with my host family and her and her boyfriend. So N invites me with her and her boyfriend and N also invites M, which is a guy from Canada who's like 32. I was like, oh okay. Like I got some kind of weird vibes from him, but I was like, whatever. And so me and N go on the subway to meet Jay um, for dinner. So we're going to get some getong, and I never tried some some getong, so I was really excited. And for those of you who don't know, some getong is like Korean chicken noodles or chicken soup, not chicken noodle soup, chicken soup, and they like stuff a, like a little chicken, like not too big, but they stuff it with rice and then put it like in a broth, and it's so good and like. Koreans eat during the summer because it's supposed to be like you eat it's hot in the summer so you eat like hot foods to like balance it out I don't know it's weird but I was really excited to go get it and everything was going pretty well and he was really nice like there was like nothing wrong with him and it was like pretty chill and then M hasn't met up with us yet he's meeting us up at a subway station to go to the Jim Jabong with us so once we're finished eating like the dessert that we had or whatever and the drinks, we go to the subway, go on the subway. So as we were on the subway, um, I was really tired and this is all happening kind of late at night. Like I don't think we ate till like 8 and then didn't get on the subway till like 9, 10. So I was getting tired, like I was ready to like go to the ginger ball, like go in the nice bath, chill, relax. Um, but as we were on the subway, there was like a little person who like came up to me and I was sitting in the corner of the subway like sitting in the corner seat so like when he came up to me and like was like 
he was very loud and started talking to me. Like, anyone who, like, comes up to me and just starts randomly talking to me, I get flustered anyway because I'm, like, a very nervous, shy person uh, when I'm first meeting people. So I was kind of, like, flustered. And, like, I definitely, like, was not that pretty. Like, I'm not that pretty. And, like, N was, like, way prettier than me. She's, like, European, blonde hair, blue eyes, like, super pretty. Like, why is he talking to me? Why did he target me? Like, I'm just trying to get on my way. Like, he was, like, speaking English, and, like, it was pretty good, but I was just really tired, and I didn't want to, like, deal with that. It sounds bad, but, like, I just don't, I don't know, I get really uncomfortable. And so, finally, I think he either left or we got off. I think he left, and I was, like, also, they weren't helping me at all during this time. I was, like, why are you guys, didn't you help me? And they're, like, you know, you just gotta, like, be cool. And I was, like, I can't be cool. Like, hello. So I was like, okay, whatever, like, I'm just ready to go to Jinbabang. And then so we get off the subway and we have to wait in the subway station for M to arrive so he can come with us. He shows up, we go to the bathhouse, which is like near N's or J's house, I think. That's what N said. Well, we end up going and N tells me that J's friend is going to come. Let's call him B. I don't know. Let's call him B. So we go in and M and J um, go to the guy's side and we go to the girls and we decided that we're gonna like go in the baths for a little bit and then meet up in the like gym Jabal area which is like the area where like you have the clothes on and sit with guys and girls. Me and N end up going into the sauna where like you have to like be naked and like go in the bath and it was a little awkward at first just because the only time I've kind of like gone to something like that is in Japan when we say like a hotel going to Mount Fuji um, I went to the bathhouse that was in the um, the hotel and you had to like be naked for that but it was kind of like comfortable like once you like go with friends and like are there and it's kind of like really nice because you're just kind of like in the water um, so yeah, we were in there for like not that long, we were like 20 minutes. And then we go out, we put clothes on, and I was like, if I'm be sleeping here, I don't want to have a bra on. And then we go out, and we're just chilling. And then I think we decided to like to go to the gym or the Norebang in the gym Jobang. So it's like a little karaoke room within the bathhouse, which is actually really cool and like really fun to like stay over for a night with your friends. Um, so while we are in the karaoke, um, Jay gets a text from his friend B that B is going to be there soon. So we're just waiting for B in the karaoke room. And I'm sitting at one of the chairs like on the, against the wall and there's a chair next to it. And so M, the guy from Canada, 32, mind you, he comes and sits next to me and I have the mic. And he leans into me and, like, is leaning, like, on top of me. I'm just like, I am not comfortable with this. Like, you're 32. And he's making some other, like, weird comments. And I was just like, this is not comfortable for me. I don't want this to be happening right now. Like, it wasn't, like, anything, like, sexual. But I just wasn't feeling it. And so there's a chair in the middle of the room, like, by itself. So it's like, okay, I'm sitting there. Like, after the song ends, I'm getting up and sitting over there because I wanted nothing to do with this. Like, I was like, this is making me uncomfortable. Like, so I move into the chair, and then that's when B comes. And, like, B's kind of cute. Like, I think someone said he looked like someone from 2 p.m. I think, not 2 a.m., but, like, no way 2 a.m. 2 a.m.? 2 a.m.? I don't know. So after karaoke, like, a little more... We end up going down to get food and, like, drinks, so we just, like, I want a beer, but only had, like, 50 in cash, and I was like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> so, we end up just, like, getting drinks and snacks and just chilling. I think at this point, it's, like, 11.30, so once we finish, like, everyone's kind of tired. Um, oh, at this point, um... M has left us to, like go sleep somewhere else and it was kind of weird also when we were looking around earlier for a place to sleep he almost walked into the women's only area and I was like I barely know any Korean and I'm like yo means woman so I was like okay like have fun like whatever so he goes off by himself and we're just kind of chilling and we have this like nice area it's like a little bit raised and like 
it's kind of nice and like separated from like the whole rest of the floor which is huge like there's so many people like sleeping it's like a huge space so like, we have prime spot and i didn't want to give it up but um we ended up like getting ready to sleep and it's so uncomfortable because you're just sleeping on the floor with like a brick of a pillow like if you've seen korean dramas like you've seen those like bricks and they're just really uncomfortable like not fun to sleep on like i can't sleep on the ground i know some people can like really love it but for me like i get too uncomfortable and i can't sleep and just is not comfortable for me at all we end up sleeping and i wake up like 30 minutes later and n and j are gone i'm just like where would they go like I'm uncomfortable here by myself like it's only like me and then literally B is like all the way on the other side and he's like dead asleep and I'm just like I'm here by myself like I don't know what to do so like go to the bathroom come back my spot is still there at that time I think and then I go back to the bathroom like an hour later and someone has taken my spot and I was like I don't feel comfortable like sleeping in between like two random Korean people like I just didn't feel comfortable I like go around looking for other places and I like kind of like find a place, sleep for a little bit, get up, go to the bathroom. Like as I'm going to the bathroom, I hear, oh, Chincha, wake up, oh, Miguk Saram. Like people are just like looking at me like, oh my god, it's a foreigner. Like, oh my god, it's American. And like, I was like, oh, I could see these guys who were saying it. Like I was gonna make the joke, like, oh, Hanguk Saram, like, oh, Korean. But I was like too tired and too lazy so I go to the bathroom come back find a different place to sleep people were staring at me I just wasn't comfortable so I like, found a place in the corner and I still hear people like oh Jinta wake you can oh me go sit on I'm just like yes I'm a foreigner like what do you want like I'm just trying to be here just like y'all I was like tired and I couldn't sleep well either, like I kept waking up and like going to the bathroom, finding a different spot, hearing people call me foreigner like the whole night. Like every like five to ten minutes I swear I just heard people like, oh foreigner, like oh American. So at that point I was like kind of over it. And then in the morning, I, when it got light, because they have like light skylights, so when in the morning like, you can see everything. So once I got to the morning, I like started looking for N and J. I was like, where are they like I can't find them because me and N had decided to go shopping um, in Kado Sugo so I'm like I just want to get out of here like I want to get up I find her and Jay like in like the sea of people like sleeping and so I like go over to them and they're still sleeping so I just like lay down next to them after I found um, N and Jay Jay was like oh my friend B needs to get out here like he has work like why isn't he leaving so Jay goes to like wake his friend up at this point M has gone too like M left and um, I think he texted N that he had gone so I was like oh, okay well we don't have to worry about him so everything like gets settled and then me and N get ready to go but she's like oh I want to stay out here a little more I was like oh I'll try to go to the bath before we leave so I can like just get warm but I went by myself and that was not fun like it was only the second time I've gone by myself or like the first time I like gone in by myself so I was really nervous and like I went to the bath like a bunch of old ladies I was like I can't do this like this is too much for me in the morning like I've had a bad night like this is way too much so I ended up just like leaving getting dried off and meeting up with N, and then we go to get makeup which was the redeeming factor of that night I think yeah I hope you guys like my video I might make more video like more story times while I was Korea like I was not like a very adventurous person so I don't have like that many like story times like I didn't go clubbing like I didn't do that much stuff just like whatever like weird shit that happened to me when I was there because a lot of weird shit happens to me for some reason I don't know I also might make a video about Lingy Bridge the company I went to Korea with um, I went with them twice in 2014 and 2016, and I also went to Japan with them in 2015, so I'm making videos about that. <gasps> I have great story times from Japan. Okay, I'll definitely make videos from that. I went to a maid cafe. There were some really weird people. Like, it was really fun. So I'll probably make some videos about that. I hope you all enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time.